Hey guys, this is Crypto Boy and Oz. I'm Matt. This is a brand new channel all about crypto. Um, and I've done it because I want to share my story and I want to try and I want my aim is to get from 10k to 100k from now, from this moment, from Mar uh, well, beginning of April. And we're already part way through the bull run. There's no sign of it ending. And normally it goes, sort of goes into winter. And that's what I'm highly expecting to happen. And I'm hoping that. 10k to 100k is it's only 10x from now um now if you just jumped in in january i could have done 100x easily um well i say easily and i'd expect to have get to 100x if i'd have jumped in in january but wasn't into crypto now i'm not a noob completely now, i've not just jumped in and started buying coins and got no knowledge of it at all I actually started in 2018 and started buying um, all different coins, but then the prices just plummeted and I kind of lost completely interest, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I thought it was a fad, but I, I just thought I can't put any more money into it. I didn't know where it, where it was going to go. So I ended up just forgetting about it and I only got back into it in... February of this year and probably a month too late if I'm honest but then I, I actually checked the prices of my coins and I actually had ten thousand dollars and I only actually put in I probably actually put in about five thousand dollars but a lot of that wasn't straight into coins I, st I started mining Litecoin and let me tell you it's easy just to buy it so if you're thinking about mining just buy it instead it's much easier you're not worrying about the electric and anyway, that's nothing to do with anything. So yeah, so I ended up with this 10k pot and I had it in altcoins and some of the coins weren't doing as well as others, but mainly I had them all in Cardano and I had some in some other coins as well. They, they, they'd pumped, they'd made, a, they'd made a lot of money and uh, they'd gone up like from 20 cents, which is what I bought them at and I think... When I got back in, they were like 70 cents and I couldn't believe it. And then they, I think they went up to like $1.40 or something. And at that point, when it got to about $1.40, then I started moving moving some of it out of Cardano and putting it into putting it into different coins. So I know I've got a I've got a portfolio, I think, of about seven or eight different coins. And in shortly I'm gonna share it with you. Um I just want to tell you what the aim of the channel is. So as I'm not a complete noob, um, but I wanted to, I wanted to actually uh, like relate to everybody out there that's either started in 2018 and then give up because the price has dropped and maybe you're just getting back into it now, or anybody that's just starting now. Um, anyone that started in January is probably killing it. I mean, you, you could have bought anything in January, and I mean, you could be. To be honest, if you put ten grand in in January in the right coins, you'd probably be a millionaire now, um, or maybe not. But anyone that's listening that like, associates with me where you've got little to no money. And to me, like I've got it's 10,000 US dollars, which is what it was. And to me, that's a lot of money. It's not like I have this disposable income where I can just throw money out to invest. This is invested from 2018 and it's pumped up now to 10,000. And I'm thinking it's highly, highly likely that I can 10x this money. Uh, because the way the way everything is at the minute, I mean Ethereum's at two, two well it's two two five eight at the minute, but it's it was around two five, and that's expected to go up to twenty to twenty five k by the end of the year. Bitcoin, I think two hundred k minimum. Um, so all the others would go up, and what you tend to find is. Bitcoin is like the dominant, the dominant uh, driving force that drives everything up. But when Bitcoin goes up, all the altcoins tend to go up even faster. Um, now, I, what I, I don't mean, like obviously any, anyone that's new out there, nothing in my opinion will never be worth more than Bitcoin. Bitcoin's digital gold. It's finite. There's only 21 million ever going to be in existence. Um, there's the viz of the coins that are similar, like Litecoin, I think, has got is that 84 or 64 million. Um, but that's just basically like a 
copy they've copied the code of Bitcoin. So it's it's literally Bitcoin, but it's not Bitcoin if you get me. And so all the other coins, there's so many of them that they can they can never get to that kind of valuation. Um but they've all they all go up exponentially and so I mean, I mean, if you look at if you look at Dogecoin, like in the last few days, it went up five over five hundred percent, and there's no reason for it. It's just a meme coin. It doesn't mean anything. Um, it's one of the first. It's one of the early coins that came after Bitcoin, but it doesn't actually. There's no developer behind it. The actual creator of it's left. Um, so there's no, there's nothing. There's no backbone to it. But it just got pumped through social media. Elon Musk obviously tweets about it. Um, a few other people have kind of got on the bandwagon tweeting about it, and all of a sudden it's pumped and it's gone. It's gone absolutely mental, and people have people have become millionaires if they just sold at the top. Um, but it's easily easily done. You can easily make an awful lot of money through uh, cryptocurrency. And the thing is, even though a lot of these coins don't have a use case, it doesn't mean a thing because. People just buy them just because they're there. They don't actually look into what they do. Um, they don't look at the like the use case of the coins. And a coin can pump and it's got nothing. It's got no fundamentals to it at all. So anyway, I'm just going to share with you my portfolio just to show you what I've got. And I have actually just put some more into it, to be honest. So I add, because well, before I go into my portfolio, Today, there was a big dip in the price, and it's this story here. Wales moved 1.6 billion. I think it actually went up to $2 billion. The $2 billion were wiped off, off Bitcoin, in Bitcoin. And I think, I think it was about 800 million off Ethereum. So this is the biggest sell-off in one go, I think, that's ever happened. Um, so $2 billion to be, well, as we said, 1.6 billion off Bitcoin. So the price actually, the price actually plummeted. And if you look at if you look at it here, um, where are we? What are we on the one hour chart? So if you look what it went, what it, oh, hang on, sorry, I was on Bitcoin. I'm actually on BTT, so I don't know why BTD. On the Binance one. So if you look at it, I mean, my God, it was 60, 60, well, it went up to 61,000. I mean, it, it was obviously 65,000 not long ago. And then you get to this point, 61,000, all of a sudden, this big sell off, big sell off. Look at this. This is crazy. I mean, it actually went down here, it went down to 54, 55,000. Absolutely mental. And like now it's 50, it's come back up. So basically the whales, and if you don't know what whales are, they're just people that hold shit load, a hell of a lot of Bitcoin, like enough to make a difference. So I don't know if it's one person or there's a few of them in cahoots and they say, right, okay, listen, we've got um, all these people going long on Bitcoin. I think there's something like $2 billion, like people betting long on it and we're going to sell it. So the price drops. So they sell it at 61. They'd have watched it go down to like 54,500. 54, and then when, it, when price, is, price is that low, then they buy it back in. So they've actually $6,000 they've made per coin. And if you think when they drop in two, billions, two billion worth of coins, that is crazy money. So they've just increased the wealth in Bitcoin. And every poor bugger that they were going long on Bitcoin has lost out a lot of money. And it was the same on Ethereum. Ethereum, Ethereum I think, went down seven, I think it was 700 million, which is massive in itself. And then what happens? It's a knock on effect because people get FOMO and they think, oh my God, prices drop, I'm going to sell, sell, sell. So everybody sells and the price plummets. So don't get into, don't get caught up in the price drop. Um, just ride it out because if you try and sell, 
you end up losing out because you think, like, like this for instance, 61,000. And if you were actually watching it live and uh, it went down to like 59, 60, 60, 59, you sold. Not too bad because it, it's carried on dropping and it really dropped. But if you'd have sold like down here because you were really panicking, as soon as you've sold it, you've got FOMO again because you're then thinking, my God, have I sold at the bottom? Have I sold at the bottom? And then you want to buy back in. But then you end up, do I hold off? Because when you've sold, you really want it to continue to fall. As soon as you've sold it, you're thinking like, please fall, please fall. But then if it doesn't fall, you think, do I buy back in? Do I buy back in? And chances are, if you buy back in, you're going to lose out straight away anyhow, because obviously the fees involved from selling to buying. Um, and then if you don't buy back in and the price goes up, then you can, then you're, you're completely out of pocket. And you've, you've, you've done yourself some, you, well, you've not done yourself any favours, put it that way. So don't do it. And coming from the horse's mouth, I did something similar. Like with, um, I'll, I'll, now that I've showed you, obviously, what whales are and what, what that actually means. I'll go back to my portfolio. So I actually had, um, what did I have? I had about 3,000. Did I have 3,000? I think three and a, I had 3,500 VE chain. And the price, it like, if you've been following VE chain, I think, like, uh, well, one, earlier this week, it was... Well, I actually paid 12 cents for it and it started going up and it went up to 20, 25, 27 cents. So I actually sold and I pulled it out and I put it into, I put it into Cardano and I always put it into, normally I put it into USDT, the tether. So it's fixed, it stays at a dollar, it doesn't move, it just follows that. And then I still panic because I think, well, if it goes down, if it goes up, um, I'm I'm chasing, I'm chasing then. But if it goes down, which I've made quite a bit of, not not loads, but like with Cardano, I've made like 100, 150 coins here and there, and I've done it with XRP as well. Um, but with E-Chain, the price, the price actually, I sold it for about to actually 22 cents. And I put it into Cardano, and then the price, the price actually, Dropped on Cardano, it went from like I added a dollar fifty, and it, when I checked earlier on, it was like a dollar fifteen. I'm like, oh my god! So rather than leave it, I was getting four more. So I was doing what I'm telling you not to do, and it's hard because I think everyone does it. Like it's like built into our DNA. Like, everyone gets four more. So Cardano was like a dollar fifteen, and I should have just left it because I, I know it's going to come back up. I didn't need to panic because I know all these whales are buying back and the prices by tomorrow, the price is probably back where it was. But for some reason, I'm like, oh my God. So I went, what I, what I did was trying to edge my bets. I think at the time, could I, whatever the percentage was, I'm not sure what it started and finished that, but at that, very, at that moment, it was like 15% down from when I put it into, from when I put it in. So then I started looking through different coins, coins that had actually gone down more. Um, so I, I transferred it into another coin. I think VE Chain at the time. Oh, sorry, not VE Chain. Uh, Chainlink. Chainlink was, I think, down about eighteen percent. So then I thought, well, that three percent difference will cover like the fees more or less. So I, tra I transferred the Cardano into Chainlink because I did want Chainlink anyhow, um, but not like this. So now I've, this is this is my portfolio. So these are all solid. Um, Cardano has definitely got over any other crypto. Um, I don't think I'm wrong in saying this, but I'm sure that Cardano has got um, the biggest community out of all all um, crypto assets. Uh, Charles, Charles Oskinson, if you don't know, was the co-founder of Ethereum. Um, he left very early on. I think he left in something like 2013. I think he started Cardano in 2015. Um, so he's obviously he's got that that kind of behind him. Um, all his 
white paper. I mean, they've got so many white papers, it's unbelievable. Everything that they do goes out for devs to, it's all open source. Everybody can look at it and um, improve upon it. So in that respect, it's a little bit behind because uh, you've got, I mean, Ethereum started and like, I think they start. I think they started the, um, I think it was 20, 2013, where you could actually add other coins onto, onto the, onto the network. Um, so they've been around for a long time and then you've got, um, Polkadot and th they're actually, they've got the network up and running where other coins can get onto the network. Dano's not there yet. Um, they, I reckon it could be another another couple of years before Cardano gets there. So we'll have to wait and see. But I, I've I've kind of I like say this is a lot of money for me. Like five thousand dollars for some people is probably peanuts. But for me, that's a big stake. But I've I've got um, a lot of trust in the co in well say the company. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of trust in Cardano and ADA, and I think they're going to do well long term. I'm hoping that's going to be a to make a lot of money on that coin xrp um if they actually win the lawsuit against the sec which is looking more and more likely um not going to say it's going to happen for sure but i think if it does happen xrp could go to the moon by the moon i don't know what i'm really saying how high it can go 20 dollars maybe um but i think long term again it could go Great. I mean, I'm I'm thinking about this like this cycle this year. But long term, XRP could be absolutely huge because it's been in it's it's kind of signed up so many banks. Um, BitTorrent is a bit of a bit of a gamble. Um, people know BitTorrent just through obviously downloading torrents, but apart from that, I don't know how effective they are in in the blockchain. Um, but it it did pump. It went from like eight point eight cents to. Uh, what was it? One point seven cent. So I did make money on that, and I, I I then diversified and put it into some different coins. Um, Chainlink is another one that's got a hell of a lot of use case to it, and it's a really popular coin. And again, I'm no expert, so I can't go into detail about that the back end of what each each and every coin does. I just I watch as many gurus as I can, and I take a bit from each one of them and put my own, like make my own decisions, which is, which is really what you've got to do. I mean, I mean, I'm not a financial advisor. I've not, I've not a clue compared to uh, some of the gurus like that can do technical analysis and read, read charts and what have you. Um, I've just bought Binance coin. Like I bought, I actually bought that today because of the big dip. People are obviously invested already. They, they, obviously they're losing out, but then if you buy in at this low point, you'll have probably got your, Got got your coin twenty percent cheaper than what you would have a day ago, and then I'm mean, back and then VE chain another one that I think is going to be massive. And the reason reason I say on VE chain is because it's a Chinese um, it's a Chinese product, and China aren't permitted to actually buy any crypto. Um, through through Chinese cryptocurrency, through ch uh, Chinese exchanges. Um, so I'm thinking when that time comes where China opens up the doors and they can buy through Chinese exchanges, the chances are they'll only be able to buy Chinese coins. And VE chain is the number one. So can you imagine like China, the powerhouse of the world, suddenly every... Every Tom, Dick, and Harry can pump in some money into the Chinese um, exchanges, and um, which is the top one, the Yi Chain. It's a low cap coin. Well, it's a low price coin, point point two two cents. Um, so I think that is going to do. That's going to do really, really well long term. If you look at it down here, it's number it's number thirteen. It's got a fourteen and a half billion market cap. And I think that could, I mean, that's going to 
slowly increase as they all are. They're all going to go through the roof. They're all going to go to the moon this cycle. Um, so yeah, so they're, they're my coins. And our harmony is just um, it's ranked at number 80, 82, I think, out of all the, all the different coins. But again, that's got quite a lot of use case behind it. It's an up and coming one. I think that's actually going to do really well. I can't give you any technicals about it. Like I say, I'm just getting information from my my sources that I trust. And I use quite a few that have got much more experience and knowledge than I've got. And they're, they're pretty honest. And I don't think they're actually sh like shilling, shilling the coins to get you to buy them, even though it's going to help them in the short term. But you've got to understand... 7 billion people in the world and these these um like these crypto channels that you watch they've a lot of them have only got like small audiences so it's not like they're really going to influence the the overall price of when you when you're talking about market caps of like especially on page 1 when you when you're talking about market caps of what what I mean the top 20 coins 7 billion or above I mean if you're scrolling down, I mean, you've got 60, down to 60, 70. I mean, you've got to get down to 94, number 94 to get less than a billion dollar market cap, which is insane. I mean, it's absolutely insane. So you're not going to, average Joe investing a thousand dollars here and there isn't going to influence the price on any of these high staking coins. So. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to get through today. I mean, I'm going to do I'm going to do more videos as I do different trades, and hopefully I'll get some followers. And if you have any questions or anything, please please post them in the comments. If you like the video, please like press the like button because the way YouTube works, if you're hitting that like button, then what happens is it'll show it to other people that it thinks might be interested in this content. Um. As time goes on and I get more comfortable with chatting to myself online, um, I'm hoping, obviously, I'll be able to get some people on speaking maybe and have a chat with different people. Uh, anybody that's actually in the field that wants to educate me even and tell me, what's, tell me what they think are good altcoins that are maybe coming up in the... Um, in the near future that are, are good to invest in because the thing the thing is we like you your altcoins you can actually 100x on some of the new altcoins that are coming out that have actually got some real use case behind them most of the coins that are like in the top 10 to 20 short term it's going to be pretty impossible to 100x because if you think about it they've got like a if you think if you think of like number ninety two Verge, it's got a one just over one billion dollar market cap. So for that two hundred X, think how much actual the the total market cap would have to go up. I mean, it's two two trillion dollars now. It's pretty unlikely that you're going to be hundred X in um, a lot of these coins by the end of the year. Maybe maybe ten X in. I think 10x is a realistic achievement for most coins. Um, if you're getting the ones what are on popular exchanges, that's another thing as well. It's a lot of the lower coins, they're not available on all exchanges. So like if you're looking at the main exchanges like Coinbase and Binance and Kraken, they, they are limited to what um, to what they actually list. And depending on where you are as well, because like if you're in the US, you you're again limited to what what coins you can purchase. Like luckily, if I because we're because I'm in Australia, I use um, let's bring it up. I use CoinSpot, and thankfully it's not showing my password, but I've just got to think while I type it in. log in so this is where part of my portfolio is kept not a lot um 
So right, I've got two thousand. That's giving the dollar. That's giving the dollar value. Let's go to the wallet. Um. So yeah, this is what I've got. Eleven thousand five hundred of that. So I've got quite a few different coins. That this sire coin that went up crazy. I mean, that was worth about ten cents when I actually left it in, and now it's like four dollar thirty. So I could have made a mint on that as well. So what I wanted to just show you. Was, so like this has got a lot of coins. So quite fortunate where I can pretty much I don't know how many it's got off the top of my head. But it does keep adding adding coins. It's got a big, big choice. So I use that. So to give you give you like an idea, I use I use CoinSpot. Um, I also use Exodus. Now I use Exodus because I stake my Cardano with Exodus and they pay, I think, 4.6% interest. So I actually get Cardano given to me. I think it, I think it's like every every week or every two weeks. For what the Cardano you've got staked, then they give you give you uh, Cardano out of it. And then I also use I have um, a little bit of play money in coinbase like when i say play money i mean real play money like 50 dollars. what i just just mess about with i don't really do much with it and i did do i used to use it but then i started using coinbase uh coin spot instead it's aussie and it's easier for me to get my money into it quickly so and then i, I use um, an app called abra abra and that's really good because that you can exchange um, currencies like really, really fast, and you can earn interest. You can earn ten percent on USDT if you just want to use it as a bank account with high interest, which is pretty awesome. And you can the way Abra works, it 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 works slightly differently. Where you can you can even put it in like USD. You can you can bank it into like a currency, which isn't tether. It's like their own little. They've got like their own little algorithm which you can peg it against any currency which is kind of weird really i don't know how they do it um they do do usdt but then you can just have it in like usd or aud or yen whatever um you can have it in gbp and it just pegs it to the currency so that's pretty pretty cool so i use that as well so between main, 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 so basically it's coin spot Opera and Exodus, and they they were all all three of my coins are. Now I used to have them on an hardware wallet, but now as alt alt season, as you call it, is so active and there's so much fluctuation in prices. Um, and hardware wallets, like I have, um, I'll just get it one sec. So this is the Ledger Nano X, I think, or the S, maybe. But you're limited to what coins you can put on it anyhow. And I think the exchanges are pretty secure now anyhow. So, and because I'm not using any, like, dodgy, dodgy exchanges, like CoinSpot is, like, the biggest in Australia, I think. And then Abra is really secure. And Exodus, I think, is a UK company, and they're... And they've got a really secure exchange so i keep them on there because i'm always i'm not loyal to any particular coin so if something's going to make me money in the short term i'll i'll, eat, I'll happily cash out and move it into something else um but then i'm not a trader i'm not an expert so sometimes i, I might get burned luckily apart from this but this time right now i probably broke even transferring from my ve chain to my cardano to my chain link but um, from from the past six to eight weeks, I've actually sold on a high and then bought on a low, and I've done that four times. And I've increased between Cardano and XRP. I've probably increased my holdings on each of them by about three hundred coins, which isn't a lot if you've bought if you've bought Cardano and XRP. Um, January, 
and 300 Cardano on XRP is peanuts. Um, but it's all relative. So I'm looking at the long term. I'm looking at what I think, what I think these are going to be in five years. And seriously, think 10K, 200K this year with what I've currently got in my portfolio is like pretty, pretty, um, it's not out of this world, to put it that way. Because this, I believe this market is going to pump. And I think if Ethereum goes to 25K, then the altcoins are going to go to the moon. So you might be watching this in November and you might be thinking, oh my God, like this is, this is mental. And I hope, I hope to God you follow, like you follow along. And I mean, I prefer you to do your own research and I don't want you to think I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to buy exactly the same coins that I've got because again, I'm no financial advisor. I don't really have any um, expertise with any of these um, coins. I just believe that what I've chosen, apart from BitTorrent, I'm not too sure about BitTorrent, I think all, all these coins I've chosen are, have got good potential and I think they're, they're going to be here for a long time. And there's a lot more coins that I want, but I can't, I don't want to spread too thin. Like I want to, I mean, I'm not investing a lot of money anyhow, so I don't want to spread too thin where these are going down too, too lower numbers where I don't, because I, I want to benefit from them like in the, in the long term. I want to make some serious coin from them. Um, So, yeah, if you want to, if you want to actually follow along, please click the like and the subscribe button. Um, if you want to leave any comments, again, I say I'm a complete novice, so don't be too brutal on me. Like, if I've got any, if I've interpreted something that isn't right and you know better, let me know. Um, but don't don't slay me because I say I'm still learning. Like, I've, I might have started it in 2018, but I didn't really have a clue what I was doing and. I didn't really um, learn an awful lot and it's only now that I'm starting to really get into the videos where I'm picking up more and more knowledge but it's like it, it's a learning process because I watch so much and like about NFTs and um, up and coming um, like projects what are coming to fruition. A lot of um, coins what are like doing releases like pre-releases were they're not actually available to buy on coin market cap they're, they're still like you're investing in them outside there's a lot of coins what people are telling me about which are going to be they could be 100x but it's hard if you've if you've only got x amount of dollars or you've got x amount of coins and you don't really want to like go too thin with what you've actually got. It's hard to justify, say, splitting, making, I don't know, like XRP. It's hard to say, right, I'm going to take out 1200 XRP. So I'm going to give myself like $1,700 to play with on other coins because then you think if XRP pumps and you could have made an abs absolute fortune on it, then it's all about what, it's all about what ifs and maybes. So, Anyway, I'll not keep any more of your time. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too long or boring for you. And yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next video.